Let's have a discussion about how professional I am right now. Cuban motherfuckers out there would know what this shit is. Pan con croqueta. AKA, I gotta rush home, do a video for y'all, and eat at the same time before I gotta pick up my kid. Struggle is real, fam. Cuban niggas like, yo, yo, it's me. Y'all motherfuckers be mad. Yo, Cubans be mad proud. Second to Puerto Ricans. Puerto Ricans will celebrate a Wednesday because the fucking conquistador uh, took a shit somewhere in Old San Juan. Yo, Puerto Ricans is mad proud. But anyway, I'm gonna review a fragrance that I literally got last night. And it made such a surprising impact that I gotta share with y'all motherfuckers because I think y'all be interested to know. So, uh, let's get this shit going, shall we? Let's do this. The sexy Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. Woo! Try to do that intro without burping. Uh, uh, I was a little one. It's a baby bitch burp. Damn, I'm all glistening and sweating and shit. The sun is shining. My fucking brightness. Look at this shine. I'm a fucking mess. But I gotta do it for y'all. Because I love y'all. So as I said in the intro, the video that I'm doing today is actually a fragrance I got last night. Blind bought the shit out of it because my plug hit me up and was like, yo, I got a couple of bottles for the stupid low. I will never reveal my plug because all y'all savages is going to try to hit up the plug before I do. And that's not happening. Just know some of the fragrance that I'll be reviewing, I've gotten for such a disgusting discount that it will make you throw up where you stand. I'm reviewing this fragrance and I blind bought it just off the name because it's so me. It's sickening. The fragrance is none other than Parfums de Marley Shagya. Shall we shag now or shall we shag later? Shagya! Like I'm gonna shag the shit out of you. First of all, let's talk about how heavy this shit is. If I throw this at my wife when she gets snappy, she might die. So I won't do that. This cap is crazy. Look, I'm trying to throw this shit and I was like, I was trying to like fling it. It wasn't even happening. This shit is kind of heavy, fam. This shit could break a car window. I'm pretty sure. Nice, clean bottle. Again, it's heavy, but the cap feels like it's heavier than the fucking bottle. Real talk. The Parfums de Marley logo shit, badge code and all the bullshit under it. Is this a tester? Nope. It's just stolen. What can I say about this fragrance? Very fucking interesting. This fragrance is mature. It reminds me of the maturity level of a Tom Ford Grey Vetiver. If Tom Ford Grey Vetiver is a 50 plus year old man, this is a late 30s, early 40s type of business swag, but that still goes to happy hour. Once that fucking clock hits five, he's trying to bag up his side chick, his first chick, or his new baby moms. I think this is a very masculine, attractive fragrance for an older dude, or at least a dude who presents himself in a real mature way. Like, my shit don't stink. This is a, my shit don't stink smell. The fragrance is me, ass naked, walking through a forest with the sun just beaming on your back. You're smelling the woods, the leaves, the grass, but there's somehow tangerine, fucking oranges and shit just hanging from trees that you have that citrus vibe. So you got woody, citrus, my ball sweat, just walking through the fucking Amazon with the sun burning down your back. And then there's like a rolling fucking stream right next, to, I don't know. This is just what it puts me at. It's very like woody, vetiver, oud. It's got a nice oud and I'm, I'm a real rookie with oud, but this is a blended oud and it's fucking pretty. It's nice, it's mature. And let me say this. I got this yesterday at, a, at about 6 p.m. This shit came in the mail. I sprayed it once on my hand. Bitch, I woke up at 6 a.m. still smelling the motherfucker on my hand. The shit lasted, how many fucking hours is that? Six. Hold the nine, carry the one, negative, square root of seven. A lot! This shit just 
glue Elmer's glued itself to my skin till the next motherfucking morning. Shit. I did one spray while wifey was cooking. And I was like, yo, come smell. She's like, what the fuck? Damn, bro, did you just fucking bathe in this shit? I'm like, my dude, it's one spray. She's like, get the fuck out the kitchen because the food is going to smell like this. That crazy. The, the sillage was real. I don't know if it's this one or if there's other perfumes in Marley that just fucking evoke this cloud around you. But man, this bitch made an impression. She did like it. She said it was very grown and sexy. You have to wear something with buttons. And I get it. Nice watch, polo shirt, pressed pants, khakis for the white folk. And uh, yeah, man, this is really glorious. If you want the notes, I pretty much just told you. It's scent, I think there's, there's oud, geranium, vetiver, uh, citrus, something else, I don't know. Geranium, oud, citrus. I'm gonna say the thickness of it is more colder weather. This hasn't been talked about. I haven't seen any review on it. Maybe somebody has, I haven't seen it. I might be the first motherfucker on this shit to be doing. Shagya. I honestly think if you can get a sample of this, try it out. This might surprise you. If you're a Tom Ford Grey Vetiver fan or a Oud Vetiver vibe, this is pretty fucking attractive. Is this a ball sprayer? I know I have, I've been forgetting how to ball spray lately and it's just, uh, I don't know, I'm a fucking idiot. This is a ball sprayer. I'm not gonna spray my balls with this right now. Why? Here, I'll imaginary spray my balls. The reason why I'm not really spraying my balls is because the sweat on my balls and this mixing right now would just cloud the entire fucking space that I'm in. That's how beast this shit is. And my balls might not smell, my balls might smell like Udi Vetiver Geranium for about four days. And that's my take on Parfums de Marley Shagya. Dope fragrance, I recommend it. If you can get a sample, get a sample. Let me know what you think. If you smelled this before and have heard other reviews about it, let me know. I'm very interested to hear other people's perspective. I like it. I definitely like it. Especially for the price. The low, low, low. Way under $100. I'm gonna leave it right there. I know my comment section is gonna get blown up like, yo, you never tell us how you get these deals. Listen, the fact of the matter is I get sometimes free shit Sometimes I buy and sell enough shit that I make connections with people. Connections is key. Whether you're buying from a distributor, a company, a person, start conversation. You know what I'm saying? If you're going through like, you know, Amazon, eBay, let go, any of these, feel their vibe out. What do they sell? How often do they sell it? What's their feedback? Is it 100% feedback and they've only sold 10 items? Mm. Get a feel for them. Ask them questions. Yo, you get shit often? Yo, what kind of prices are you working with? Yo, if I do this, can we do this next time? It's all about connections. You got to put that sales hustle into effect and good things will come to you. I'm a happy little girl. But you already know who it is. Leave me some comments. Ask me some questions. Do whatever the fuck you want. It's your boy. Smooches! Fresh, who's best? I don't know. Wanna know who's gonna pass the test? I mean